Hey guys, and welcome back to this short series of videos on using iMovie for iPads. Last time we were looking at some basic editing techniques, including trimming and splitting and reordering clips. Today we're going to be looking at using some visual effects like transitions and color filters and using the slow motion and fast forward effects. So I'm back here in the project that we started with last time, including some of these kind of scenic uh, clips. We're going to start by having a look at some different types of transitions that we can use to transition between clips. And you'll see that there's a space here for that uh, between each clip. At the moment, it's kind of defaulted to this one, the dissolve effect, which as you can see, just kind of gradually changes the clip from one to the other. You can choose to have no uh, transition at all, and that just cuts straight from one clip to the next. Uh, without any particular transition. There are a couple of others available down the bottom here. Once you select that transition icon, um, you've got the theme on there, which just matches with whatever theme you're using. You've also got uh, Dissolve, which we started on earlier. We've got Slide, which slides from one clip to the next like that. We've got Wipe, which looks like that. And we've also got Fade as well, which is the one that we saw earlier as part of the theme. You can then also change the amount of time that it takes to transition from one clip to the other down the bottom here. So you can create it longer, make it two seconds. And then you can also add sound effects depending on the type of transition that you've selected. So for example, this one makes that kind of noise. Wipe like this. So that might be something that you're interested in including as well. Now let's have a look at some other visual effects. And you can see this button here called filters down the bottom, uh, which gives you a, a wide range of different filter types to choose from. You can also see this from the settings menu up here at the top, and you can choose a project filter, uh, which will apply to all the clips in your project. So let's have a look at those here. We've got some interesting ones like this comic effect or comic mono effects like this. And then some others are some different kinds of color filters. We've got some black and white effects like this, uh, this kind of grainy old timey effect as well, um, and some other interesting colors as well. So they're the color filters. It's my cat's tail. Finally, the other thing for today is the speed effect here. Now, as you can see, it's at one time speed, just normal speed at the moment, but we can also slow that right down to very, very, very slow, um, up to a little bit slower. Let's have a look at half speed, there's half speed. And then we can also multiply that up to two times as fast, uh, which can be useful as well. If you like, you can also freeze at a particular point and extend that frozen section for a while. So that just freezes on that particular moment in the video. You can also choose different speed settings for different parts of the clip. For example, here I can uh, select a point in my video to add a different speed with this button here. And I can change that maybe to two times so that, that first part is normal speed. And after that is two times the speed. And you can see that represented with the different types of lines that you can see underneath there as well. To go back to how it was, just press reset. So there's some basic techniques on using visual effects in your iMovie project. Next time we're going to be talking about using audio, uh, in particular adding music and sound effects to your projects as well. See you next time.